We're here at a very windswept Zicksee in uh, Burgenland in Austria. It's become a symbol, this lake, this totally dried out lake of what's been called the climate emergency. We're seeing that changes are happening, dramatic changes. And that's why I'm here to talk to someone from Scientists for Future, Daniel Huppmann. Well, what we've seen over the last couple of months is that the climate crisis has arrived in Austria. It's not something that's happening somewhere on the North Pole to polar bears or in other regions of the world. It is having an impact here. And the Tixi is becoming some symbolic. This used to be a lake where people went for a swim in the afternoon and now it looks like a desert. And if we don't get our act together, then a a lot of Austria, or at least of Eastern Austria, could look like that. I'm slightly exaggerated, but the point I'm trying to make here is that we, people see that the climate crisis is happening here, and now they are possibly afraid, and they say, well, there's nothing we can do about it, and they go into despair. And what I think the climate strike this Friday can do is convince people that it's not too late to act. There is a lot of options that we have, new technologies, but also behavioral change. And more importantly, there are a lot of people out there who feel just the same and who are willing to go out for a climate strike together to demand from our elected politicians that they take this seriously and they don't take us for fools. It will take a lot of changes, obviously, but we have all the options and we need to have an honest discussion about which kind of options we want to choose to avoid this.